Welcome to Three Steps to Sketch for Basic Tangent Graphs. In this video, we're going to look at how to use this method for a graph that we probably already know, y equals tangent of x. So this will allow us to get used to the method with a graph we already know what it should look like. So let's get started. All right, we have our steps listed out to the side. That's always a good thing, especially as you're just getting used to using this method to create sketches. And let's jump in. Step one, find our essential information. So first, A and B. Well, we know A is just the coefficient in front of tangent, so it's an understood one. And B is the coefficient in front of X, also an understood one in this case. All right, now we can calculate the period. Remember, period is just the length of a horizontal cycle. And for tangent, we calculate that by pi over B. So pi over one is just pi in this case. All right, now we can choose nice scale labels. And remember for our method, we can find our horizontal scale labels by taking the period and dividing by four. So we'll label our horizontal tick marks in increments of pi over four. So we'll count one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, and so on. For our vertical scale labels, usually we can just use the absolute value of A, one is a good label, and that's what it is in this case. So we will count our vertical tick marks by ones. All right, finally, the asymptotes equation. And remember, we have a formula for this. Let's write it out quickly. X equals pi over 2b plus pi over b times k, where k is an integer that generates each particular asymptote. All right, so substituting in b, we get x equals pi over 2 plus pi over 1, or just pi k. k belongs to the set of all integers. That's our shorthand. All right, so we have all our information. Let's label our axes, and then we'll be ready to go on to the next step. All right, let's start by labeling our horizontal axis, counting by pi over 4. So we count 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which reduces to pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which reduces to pi. And let's just keep going for the sake of it, even though we know that'll be starting a new cycle. 5 pi over 4 would come next. Remember your check marks to make sure that you're on the right track. The fourth horizontal tick mark to the right of the origin should be equal to your period. And the second away from the origin to the right should line up with your first positive vertical asymptote. So look back at your asymptotes equation. If you let k be 0, you'll get an asymptote at x equals pi over 2. So we should feel confident that our setup is going really well so far. Everything is correct and falling into place. So let's label now the negative part of the horizontal axis. It'll be the same labels as on the positive part, but just with negatives. Negative pi, negative 5 pi over 4. All right. Now let's label our vertical axes axis, excuse me, counting by ones. And we are ready to move on to step two. So step two is to plot our key points. And remember this falls in the pattern, point, point, asymptote, point. So our first point for basic tangent graphs always gets to start on the origin. Our second point will have an X coordinate, that's our first horizontal tick mark label, and a Y coordinate of A. So in this case, the point falls at pi over four comma one. The third piece of our pattern is a vertical asymptote that goes on our graph at x equals pi over 2. And our final piece of our pattern should have an x coordinate of 3 pi over 4 and a y coordinate of negative 1, just the opposite value of a. So here we have one cycle of our pattern, and we can move on to step 3, sketch and repeat. So to sketch this first pattern, let's go ahead and plot our first point in the next repetition, the next cycle, so that we can easily sketch in our tangent graph here. All right. And now we can repeat this pattern for the rest of our graph. So let's put it on the negative part of the horizontal axis. 
we'll have a point at negative pi 0, so it's just four tick marks away from where we left off. We have point, point, asymptote, point. You can sketch that part in as well. And now we have two cycles of y equals tangent of x. Repeat the pattern for as many cycles as you need, and you have a really nice graph using the three-step-to-sketch method.